Welcome students to Speaking 2. Our lesson plan for today will be Person to Person Book 1, Units 7, Conversation 1. Please open up your textbook to Unit 7, Conversation 1. We will be listening to a conversation. As we listen to the conversation, please try to read along so that you can hear what they're saying and you can see what they are saying. So I will play the recording. After I play the recording, I will make this recording available for the class. Unit 7, Conversation 1. Could you help me? Can I help you? Yes, please. We're looking for men's shirts. They're right over there by the escalator. Here we are. Look at this one. The color's perfect for you. Hmm, I like it too. How much is it? It's on sale for $19.98. That's a good price. But I think they only have it in large. Well, why don't we ask someone? Excuse me, could you help us? Sure, what can I do for you? Does this shirt come in medium? Yes, it does. Let's see. Here's a medium. Great, I'll take it. Will that be cash or credit? Okay, so after this conversation, there's there are two items that I want to review and continue to explain more with you guys. The first is money. And then the next part will be cash or credit. For American English, when we talk about money, we always like to say the full numbers. For example, on this one, it was 1998. We say this by two numbers, 19. After this period, we just say this by pairs. So for example, if the next number is 100. this price, we will say the whole number, 145 and 58. So this is a lot of the times how we say sometimes if this number is big, we would like to add the word N right here. For the Lao currency, it will be just the same. If you buy a phone card, which is 10,000 gig, we just say it's 10,000 gig. If it's 50,000, we just say it is 50,000 gig. The next one, it will be this one, so we'll just keep on saying it is 150,000 key. The next vocabulary that I would like to explain more is cash or credit. When we say the word cash, it just means money. When we say cr credit, it means we pay this by credit card. Sometimes when we say cash, it's real money that you have on you, or sometimes we could say it is your bank card. Okay, so continue on with the next part of the lesson. When we try to get attention, and getting help and giving help, it's always polite to say, excuse me. After we say, excuse me, we say, could you help me? Can you help me? So, for example, if I was at the store and I want to buy something, and I could say, excuse me, could you help me? I want to buy this. Or... You could just say, excuse me, 
Can you give me a hand? I am looking for this. So this is how we ask and we give help. If you are going to answer the question, you say sure. And then you ask him, how can I help you? Or you can say certainly. Certainly is just another word for yes. After you say certainly or yes, you should ask him, what can I help you with? What can I do for you? So whenever we go to a store and we are looking for something and we can't find it, we ask somebody at the store, excuse me, could you help me? And if a customer comes in, if they're to ask us a question, we'll say yes. What can I help you with? We can say either this or we can just say, is there something I can help you with? This is when you are looking at a customer and they are not sure or they can't find what they are looking for. Sometimes they will not come and ask you, so you can just go ahead and ask your customer. Excuse me, is there something I can help you with? Excuse me, can I help you? And then if you don't need no help, you can just say, no thanks, I'm just looking around. For the next part of the lesson, when we are asking about clothes, we usually see something that we have or we see something that we want to buy. If we want to buy it in a different color, we can always ask our salesperson or a person that works in a store, excuse me, can you help me? Do you have this sweater in black? Do you have these, whenever we say these, it's more than one, these shoes in size 10? Or we can say, do you have any other colors? If we don't like this color, that's how we ask. Another question that you can use is, does this come in black? This refers to one item. Does this come in black? Or we can say, do these come? When we say these, it means more than one item because shoes, there are two shoes. So we use, do these come in medium? Do these come in size five? After we ask them, would they'll usually give us a hand and help us. And when your customer asks you for help, if they ask you anything, for example, do you have this, meaning one, sweater, in black? You can say, yes, we do. We don't have it, say, no, I'm sorry, we don't. We can order one for you because you are telling your customer we don't have one here. If you want, we'll order one for you. And with these questions, when you ask, when a customer asks you, does this come in black? You can say yes, it does. Or if you don't have it, you say no, I am sorry, it doesn't. It refers to one item. If they ask you do these, whatever the item is, shoes come in size eight. You will tell them, no, I am sorry, they don't. Or you can say, yes, we do have them. So for this, you should practice this because Every single time, whenever you have a customer or when you're working in a business environment, especially with English, people always come and ask you for questions. Sometimes you see people look like 
they are confused or lost or they are looking for something and you can always go and ask them if they need help. So for the next part, this will part will be your homework. You will have three of these items and you are going to ask a salesperson. A salesperson is somebody that works in the store. You will want to ask if they have this sweater and size, whichever size you want and what color you like. You'll be making a question and asking the salesperson about a pair of shoes too and a t-shirt. So try to use all of these that we have learned. Excuse me, can you help me? Do you have this sweater in blue? Do you have this sweater in size large? You'll be doing the same thing with all of these items. I will attach a worksheet for you guys and you will try to use as much of these vocabularies as you can. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me or call me. And after this lesson, I will send you the attachment with this worksheet and the listening for this part. So please take your time and try to do the homework. And thank you once again. We'll continue with part two in the next video.